welcome back to the channel guys and on today's video we are doing a jamaican christmas cake so i'll be doing this video tonight with my mother so stay tuned don't forget to subscribe share like and leave a comment down below okay so for our christmas cake the ingredients that we have using butter sugar flour red label rum white rum cinnamon nutmeg vanilla did i say flour flour and blended fruits may i mix the only i don't think so okay so the first thing we're gonna do is cream the butter and the sugar together so we have two cups of butter and two cups of sugar and mother is going to start doing the mixing. And we're going to mix and cream our butter and sugar until the sugar is, in, is incorporated and it's light and fluffy. And trust me, this might take a while, so that's why I'm up for every tonight. So, yeah. When you're creaming the butter and sugar together that you stop and scrape the edges or the sides of the bowl to get them, you know, everybody mixed up together nice. So, remember that. After beating for approximately an hour, I am not even exaggerating, it is light and fluffy now and then to that we are going to gradually add our eggs, so we have 8 eggs and we are going to add them one at a time and incorporate them into the mix. white rum 
and browning which we are going to add at the end while this is going on please to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit so I'm using half cup of this and a quarter cup of this blender I have blended fruits I just have raisins and cherries in it you can add whatever fruits you want but that's all I have and these have been soaking in the fridge for like a month or two a month, a month. yeah so it will soak and we're gonna add this to the mixture as well because we don't really want to over mix it it's important not to over mix the butter and to that now the last thing that we are adding is browning and this gives it that black color that it's famous for we're going to add a little at a time until we reach the color that we want So after we finish mix it out, and this is what we have working with. Now, this is it consistency wise. And now I have two pans that I'm going to spray with some non-stick spray. Just go on into stick. Just spray it generously. Then we're just going to transfer the batter. Okay, this is going to give me three tins, so I'm going to get another tin and pour the rest into it. 
so this is it i got three containers well pans i should say out of that mixture and now we are going to put them into the oven and we are baking until it's done so 30 minutes to an hour the most or until you know you stick a toothpick down in it and it comes out clean so to the oven we go So these are how they came out the oven. I'm going to give a closer view soon. But to finish it off, I'm just topping them with cherries because that's how it's traditionally done. And I'm going to pour more of the wine on top to soak. Don't advise kids to eat this because you know this is for the adults. I already did this one, so yeah, this is the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and stay tuned to the comments because my taste testers will be commenting down below exactly how it was. So stay tuned for the feedback and share this video.